Anyway, my next guest, he wakes up with seven million people every morning as the host of Radio One's award-winning breakfast show. And he was also the only one to walk away with any dignity whatsoever on Celebrity X Factor. He's just written his first book, The Gospel, according to Chris Moyles. Will you please welcome the saviour of Radio One, Mr. Chris Moyles! Let me hear. Yeah. Ronnie, will you keep an eye on him for us? Yeah. Yeah, he loves you now. Oh, he loved me, then he loved Ronnie, now he loves you. <laughs> There's a word for you, it's called trollop. Yeah. <laughs> Chris, how are you? I've been worried, Seth. I'm going to tell the punters. Tell them, yeah. it's fine. It's, yeah. it's all right. Three o'clock this afternoon. You don't mind, I got the no. phone call. Chris won't be here. Why? He's been rushed to hospital with pneumonia. Oh. 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 A passport, I'll be in. <laughs> Oh, what? If, what happened? I need it. Who is there? Yeah. Um, no, I've had a. a I might have pneumonia, but I, I don't think I do now. I think it's just a. <laughs> no, what, I no. love this show. You got me half oh, collapsed with the. I ass. think it's. Um, I think it's just. I think it's just. Um, Shut up, you! <laughs> That's it, Chris. Tell him, love. You know, I spent. I spent all afternoon in A and E to come no, on this show, so I'm not going to be on stage by some. Good looking fella. Have a nice cup of tea, Chris. <laughs> so it, is it pneumonia? No, it's a, it's a chest infection, which sounds rubbish. But I was keeled over at home on the breakfast bar uh, about half twelve today, just and I couldn't. I was trying to find it really hard to breathe. And when I did breathe, it was really hurting me. And, I, and I'm never ever ill. I'm never ill. And I just thought this is quite worrying. So I took myself off to A and E. Yeah. That was an experience. Oh, oh it is l luxurious is not the word. <laughs> Which A and E did you go to? Huh? Which A and E did you go to? Just round the corner from my house. What's all? Oh, right? No, no, oh, I, I, I want to. I want to. No, you want to know where to avoid, Chris? Well, no, I'm not <laughs> that is us. They were very nice, actually. Yeah. Everybody was very friendly, yeah. and um, and I thought, well, you know, I could just take the rest of the afternoon off, but. Uh, three reasons. One, you know, I promised you, and I, I love the show, and, oh, and I yeah. want to come on the show. Two, I want to meet you. Well, that's right. And, and three, I've got a book to plug, <laughs> The Gospel According to Chris Moyles, which is out on Thursday, <laughs> and I've written it all on my own. <laughs> you know what, Ronnie? I'm lying in the bed myself. Yes. This was like a couple of months ago, yes. gasping for air, and they said, <laughs> yes. you've got a bouquet of flowers beautiful bouquet of flowers and thought oh how lovely and I, I opened this card and it said get well soon you big puff Chris <laughs> <laughs> I thought there's only one Chris I know it's an M <laughs> well you but, said me you said me I did but X Factor yeah. X Factor we'd never met really I know before. but I'll tell you why I sent you them because I thought you were a champ on that Good, seriously I really did no I did did you watch it Oh, Ronnie, he was like, no, it was. it was quiet dignity, I love. Oh, it God. really it was, was, Chris. I see, so you got Sam and Cal there looking I at me. Yeah. It's just, yeah. I, I thought you and him would have had a... <laughs> I'm joking. Now, put it down, I'm come joking. on. I thought you'd have had a run in with him. Do you know, it was, that was the only disappointing thing, was the fact that I didn't get to have a row with Simon Cal, because every night he just went, brilliant. And I'm like, OK. And then the one night he said I was a bit rubbish, I thought I was a bit rubbish, so I didn't, couldn't really argue with him, but no. I still think it was a fix. But anyway... Um, <laughs> it was a fix. That was I don't Wait, think it was. CD coming out? I'm not doing... Louis Walsh wanted me to do... You should uh, do one! You must yeah. be joking. No, I, could, I just... I thought there's one... Doing X Factor was one thing, you know, and that was all right, but then to release a serious record, I think it's just... No! You could have done it for you could have just charity. Oh, no, no, see, that's what Simon Cow said. That yeah. I went, look, if I'm going to do it, I, I want the every penny you want myself. The... <laughs> I'm, doing the charity. I'm not. I'm not an idiot. It's a business. <laughs> so, uh, but anyway, I love. I, lo I love this man. Ah, mate. <laughs> Did you know I'm sandwiched between two of my comic heroes? Are I you joking? Believe it. I love it. <laughs> well, that's very kind. Isn't he? Ronnie, Ronnie, Ronnie was listening. He was listening I to was the listening show this morning. I'm me. Are we listening? I heard my impersonation, your impersonation of me. I heard several versions of me, but I wasn't sure. Now, no, uh, Dominic, who reads our news, does an impression of you, which is fair to say isn't... The best. Isn't the best. No. <laughs> it's pretty much this. <laughs> well, that's it. <laughs> but, but it was funny, because I got this new little uh, digital radio thing with All the right. earphones. 
and I was listening to Radio One ten past seven this morning. I love you. Yes, lovely. And then you came on with all this exciting pattern about me. Thank you. So how did you get up so early? And how are you so on the ball at that hour of the morning? It's money. <laughs> as, you know, man. as you know, Paul, doing doing this, you'll know. Uh, no, I just I, I'm not good in the morning at all. And this morning I, I slept through all my alarm calls. Um, so I wasn't, I wasn't late for the show, but I was late getting up. I'm terrible at getting up in the what morning. What time do you have to get up? I'm meant to be up. I, it keeps going back and back. Half five, the alarm goes off. Half five? Yeah. Which isn't that, isn't that shocking, really, right. but... Shock I'm not me. A, I'm, I'm a night person. I just, I can't go to bed. Early. Stay out all night then and just go into work. Yeah, no. Previous people have done that before, and that's why I'm doing it now, I think. So I'm learning my, I'm learning my lesson. So but what the time energy... do you go to bed at night? To get Late. Up? About half eleven, twelve. Oh, I don't God, get much yeah. sleep. No, no. And I'm young. I'm only twenty-four. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, can I just say, incidentally, as I said, I'm sitting between two of my comic heroes, and well, both, both of these legends have refused to come on the show. Isn't that outrageous? I, I, tell you right now, I, I don't think I've been up. I Would haven't. You, what, hang on, one at a time. Would you like to come on the show? Yes, sir. Uh, Brilliant. Yes, right, uh, we'll sort it out. You sort it out. Not too early, not the first shift. No, you, you, can come on, you, can, uh, you can come on, you can, you can come on for nine o'clock. Oh, lovely, yeah, that's right, good. lovely. And Paul? <laughs> you have to physically come in, or can I do it yeah, in you bed? you have to physically come in. <laughs> I could have done this for me and E on the phone. <laughs> Hello, Paul. Come down. How Paul are you? Doing? Chris, <laughs> how you doing? <laughs> I've read your book. You're looking well, Ted. <laughs> Keep it up. Do you, want, do you want us to come on? I'll I'd do love it. You come on. That's right. yeah. Honestly, you're your agent. Oh, right, then. Oh, Lord. Everything. Well, he's very busy. I'm not lying in bed. <laughs> well, yeah, that's true. But the wireless aren't listening to you. Well, that's aged me, the wireless. No, but I will. I'll come in. Well, then. You. you do it from Great Portland Street. I do, yeah, don't tell everyone. Yeah. Yeah. I'm telling. Yeah. Yeah. They'll all be down ripping yeah. bits of his clothing yeah, off. The the this is not your standard autobiography, is have it? You, have you read any I of have it? Read have you, yes. How much have you read, really? I've read, well, I've had a lot this week, so I've been... Yeah, I know, well, every guest you've, who's had a book, you've gone, I read it, I, I loved do. it. I'm I thinking... Bet. Don't I read the books? He does read the books, Chris. Say. <laughs> is, is that what Bert looks like? Yes. Good <laughs> Lord. There he is. Where is Bert? No, I do. I, re I mean, what I do is, when, like, you're coming on the show, I... I speed read, you know, I don't... <laughs> What's your favourite bit, Paul? <laughs> oh, God. Hospital radio. <laughs> Is it OK? Yeah. Hospital radio. I tell you why, because all the time when I used to do clubs and theatre, there's always some poor kid who'd come in, and I was trying to visualise you yeah. coming in, in, yeah. the, in like the little duffel coat or whatever. Hospital radio, man, yeah. Who'd plop it down and go, I'm just setting this Was up, and I put the mic here. Yeah. I put the mic on the stand in front of you. Oh, right. Do the testing, testing, <laughs> test his levels. Two hours later, you sat there simmering with rage, yeah. thinking, I'm going to kill him. In it's a all for the patients. You don't care about the patients, just experience me on the radio. Did, but uh, yeah, I did hospital radio in Wakefield. Uh, I believe that the, the PC phrase is, is, it was a psychiatric hospital. And so, but it was, uh, so it was, very, it was just somewhere to kind of learn to do radio. And there's, there's a lovely story about a DJ turning up to do the show who wasn't the DJ, it was a patient. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> Throwing records everywhere and banging on the window. And, but it was good, I mean, you know. And now I work at Radio 1, not much has changed. I was just going to say, it's the same thing for you, know, isn't it? It really is. Do you but, ever get into trouble off the boss? Did they ever kick off some mornings? Because some mornings you're well lady. That's why I like listening to well, you. Well, there's a, I had a slip of the tongue uh, uh, recently where I swore. I said a rude word, which was an absolute pure mistake. I'm just... For just completely out. forgot yeah. I was yeah. I was on the air last week. I'm very relaxed during the show, um, and there's a few things. But the bosses of, do you know what? My boss Andy came to the hospital to see me today. And I was only in A and E, and I'm stood there, and he walks through the door. That's how powerful. I, he doesn't care about me really. He wants me to make sure I'm doing the breakfast show in the morning. <laughs> Isn't that, nice? Very that was really nice. nice. Yeah. He came watching. He went, "Are you all right?" And I went, "Yeah." He went, "Great." I'm double parked and went. <laughs> <laughs> when I had the heart attack, he came in A and he went, oh, well, we cancel the show for a couple of weeks. Suit me, get in to do it. I'm going, oh, 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 oh. I'm dying, I'm dying. No, you'll be fine. Honestly, they don't care about no, us. No, I know, they don't. They really don't. But you're feeling all right, you're sure. I'm, I am, you yeah. You don't want I'm me just... to go in and do the show for you in the morning. Okay, ah, yeah, yeah. And you're happened? joking, aren't you? At five o'clock. Three hours of dead air you, you You'd get, <laughs> you would. That's what you'd get. You'd yeah. get, here's a record, yeah. here's another record, here's the we'll competition. We'll swap. You can do the morning show one day and I'll do this. Bert! Bert! My bed, where's my dog? No, he don't text me. Bert! Organ! See you! That's the worst impersonation <laughs> ever! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear the place with the one and only Chris Moyles. Long may he reign on the wireless. It's a class.
Hackenberg. It's a great book. It is. Thank you.